Hi everyone, this is going to be the third PowerPoint video that I create that focuses on using text effects using the morph transition. And so let's get into this. I have a few new things to show you. You've seen this interaction before where the letters animate onto the page. An extension of this would be to then animate that into something else. And so we're going to look at how I do that and then a few other embellishments that you can do. So first of all, I'm going to delete these two slides. This is something that I've showed you before. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. The elements that I have on here are, there's a white background, obviously. There's a white box that covers part of the elements on the screen. And that's such that when I move those elements onto the screen and apply the morph effect, it looks like they animate onto the screen in an After Effects type of interaction. Now let's take that one step further and I'm going to duplicate this slide. I go ahead and delete this element and I am going to move this. I'm holding the control key and I'm going to create some duplicates of this text. I go ahead and delete that and now I'm going to delete the SA and the KA and then finally the KS. I'll highlight these and I'll left align those and then space them out. And at this point, I'm going to type in some other words. I'll extend this a little bit, and I'm going to type in knowledge. The rest of the word, I'm going to fade it a little bit, just to kind of emphasize the letters. One thing also that I'm going to do, I forgot that I have a box, a white box on the slide. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now, the slide already has the morph transition, but I need to change the effect option to, instead of objects, I need this to be characters. So then the characters are going to move on screen. So let's preview this, see what we have. Here's the effect, and there's the effect transforming into the words. Now there's one thing that I don't quite like about this. I'm going to back up. You'll notice that the K, the S, and the A, as they fit into their position and the rest of the letters and the words appear, it looks like the K and the S and the A appear behind the other letters. You can see that effect right there. And I don't quite like that, so I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to go ahead and create a new text box for each of these. And I'll align the text box right there, so I'll just do that with these other ones as well. Okay, now I'm going to bring these letters to the front. I want to make sure that they're on top of everything. And let's test this. Let's see the effect that the letters have with the interaction with the words. So at this point, it looks like the K, the S, and the A are on top of the rest of the words. And I think that that's an important thing that I wanted to showcase. Now, this is an effect that you can get using animations. You can use a motion animation, and you can have various effects. But using the morph transition takes a lot less time, and it has such a good effect as well. One last thing I can show is how to emphasize. Suppose you have three concepts, knowledge, skills, and abilities, or whatever they are, and you want to take a moment to talk about one versus the other. So I'm going to duplicate this slide now, and I will highlight these, and I will make these bold. So I'm going to bold those, and then I'm going to highlight the rest of these, and I'm going to make them not invisible, but I'm going to kind of blend them out a little bit. So knowledge, skills, and abilities. Let's test out what that interaction looks like. You can see it fades, and so it really puts an emphasis on that first one, and it fades out the others. I can still see them. The audience will still be able to see them, but your attention really draws to the one. Now I'm going to duplicate this and do the same effect with the other ones. All right, now let's look at this effect from the beginning. And so that's a great way to add interactivity to your slides and present in a creative way that is also impactful.